finally starting to get somewhere. I have a battery loosely hooked up. Had a massive fuel leak, but got that fixed. And battery's a little on the weak side, but hey, fuel pump works and it cranks over. Next is to see if I can get it to pop off. All right, we're gonna see if we can't make this diesel run. I do have the battery charger on it because the battery's a little on the weak side, but I have the wiring mostly done, except for a glow plug. And we're gonna see what it'll do. So there's an open oil hole in the block and it just puked all the oil on the ground. Literally just puked all the oil on the ground. But it runs. That's good. Note to self or for anyone that's working on a, I guess a John Deere, well pr pretty much any Yanmar I would guess. Where I've got that bolt in the block. Yeah, well that's where uh, there was an open hole, and that's where the oil pressure sensor goes. And without that, you're basically going to put a gallon of oil straight on the ground in about 30 seconds. So with that being said, get you guys back up in the tripod and uh, let's try this again. I gotta bleed the fuel system again. too long it's a nice Sunday afternoon let the neighbors enjoy their time outside but I got it running which is good the power steering works um, I did not put the transit gear yet um, I'm not quite ready to drive the thing I just want to make sure that it's gonna run and uh, all I have left to do on it now besides actually fit uh, find a pipe plug for this besides just this bolt is uh, finish up some loose ends and wiring get um, some radiator hoses so I can get that plumbed and figure out the air intake and exhaust but it's it's getting somewhere it's it's really coming along which is good I'm happy that it's starting to take shape and I did figure out what the problem was, why it was running bad in the beginning. It's because I had the fuel pump backwards. The guy wasn't paying attention as to the direction of fuel flow. And I was 
kept on hearing bubbling in the tank and sure enough I was just pumping raw air into the tank. So I flipped the fuel pump around, bled the uh, fuel system, didn't even have to crack the injectors and uh, they came back to life so that's good. So that being said, the hydro diesel is a runner and uh, it's all downhill from here. Hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you guys think.